Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the concepts to solve the calendar problems. Okay, so the first and main important concept in solving the calendar problems is odd days. Is odd days. Okay, so in a given period, the number of days more than the complete weeks are called as odd days. Okay. So, in a given period, the number of days more than the complete weeks are called as odd days. For example, if you take January, how many days we have? 31 days. Okay. So, to find the complete weeks, we divide 31 by 7. So, that is 31 by 7. So, we get 4 point something something. Right. So, that means 4 complete weeks plus 3 days ok so according to the odd days definition it is equivalent to complete weeks plus remaining days ok those remaining days are called as odd days that means the January month is going to be have 3 odd days these are the odd days ok so in a given period the number of days more than the complete weeks are called as odd days. So next one is leap year. Leap year. So leap year is going to be contained 366 days. Okay. So one day is more than normal day. One day more than normal year sorry. so leap year is going to be contained 366 days and it contains one, one day more than the normal year so leap year contains some properties every year divisible by 4 by 4 is a leap year if it is not a century ok so every year divisible by 4 is a leap year if it is not a century for example 4 each 12 year and 2004 2000 each ok so these all are leap years because these all years are divisible by 4 and they are not a century and the second property of leap year is every fourth century is a leap year ok so every fourth century is a leap year like 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, so 2400 year. So these all years are leap year. So every fourth century is a leap year. So 100, 200, 300, 500, these are not leap years. These are non leap years. So, next one is ordinary year. So, everyone knows what is ordinary year. So, it is an ordinary year which contains 365 days. So, we have seen the concept of odd days. Now we will see how to find the odd days. Okay, how to count the odd days. So, counting odd days. Counting odd days. So, 
one ordinary year equal to 365 days okay so if we divide this 365 we get 52 weeks plus one day so according to the definition of ordinary day sorry odd days according to the definition of odd days it is a complete weeks plus the remaining days okay those remaining days are called as odd days that means one ordinary year is going to be contain one odd day okay so one ordinary year contains one odd day right so one leap year so leap year contains 366 days which is equivalent to 52 weeks plus 2 days ok so we ignore this 52 day 52 weeks and takes the remaining 2 days so these 2 days are our odd days so that means one ordinary year contains one odd day and leap year contains two odd days ok so now let's find the number of odd days in 100 years. 100 years. Okay. So the 100 years contains 76 normal years plus 24 leap years. Okay. So why not 25 leap year? Because 100th year is not in leap year. It is a normal year. That's why we have 76 normal year and 24 leap year. So we know each normal year contains one odd day. So that means 76 normal years going to be contain 76 odd days plus 24 leap years is going to be contain 48 odd days. Okay, so if you combine both of them, we are going to be contain 124 odd days. Okay, so we have to convert them into a complete weeks plus remaining odd days. So that means we have to divide this one by 7, right? So we are going to be contain 17 weeks plus 5 days. So that means we are going to be contain 5 odd days. Okay. So that means 100 years contains 5 odd days. So 100 year contains 5 odd days. So then 200 years contains 10 odd days, but 10 odd days equivalent to 1 week plus 3 days. So that means 3 odd days. 3 odd days. And then 300 years. 5 3 is a 15 odd days. So if you convert this one into a complete week, 2 weeks plus 1 day. Okay. 2 weeks plus 1 day. So that is equivalent to 1 odd day. Okay. Now let's see the 400. 400 years contain so 5 odd days 5 not 5 into 4 20 ok 20 odd days but actually that 400 year is a I mean that 400 year is a leap year so we have to add one more day why because 400 year is a leap year so it is going to be contain 2 
water that's why we are adding one more extra day that is equivalent to 21 days okay so 21 days equivalent to 3 weeks okay 21 days equivalent to 3 weeks plus 0 hard days 0 hard days okay so that means the 400 years is going to be contained 0 hard days okay so the number of odd days in ordinary year is 1 and the number of odd days in leap year is 2 and the number of odd days in 100 year is 5 and the number of odd days in 200 years is 3 and number of odd days in 300 years is 1 and number of odd days in 400 years is 0 so in the same manner so the multiple of 400 years are going to be contained 0 odd days okay like 800 years contain 0 odd days 1200 years contain 0 odd days 1600 years contain 0 odd days like 400 contain 0 odd days 800 contains 0 odd days 1200 contains 0 odd days and 1600 contains 0 odd days 2000 year contains 0 odd days 2400 year contains 0 odd days so the multiple of all 400 year contains 0 odd days so I hope you understand all these concepts thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my channel